What's up everyone? Justin with Rural Wisconsin and today I'm taking my girlfriend Lynn and we are going trout fishing at the Silent Creek. Now you guys have seen me fish here quite a few times this summer. How many fish do you think you'll catch? You guys have seen me fish quite a few times there this summer and um, <clears throat> today I'm... go for three today. How about you? Boy, I would sure be happy to catch one. I'm sorry, I didn't see you walking up on me. Ah, uh, hi. No, because I'm dressed like a tree. So what are we doing today? We're going trout fishing. And this is this is trout fishing with a true pro, right? Well, it's with me, so yeah. All right, you ready to go try to get some trout? I am. And some salmon. Hope that you don't catch anything. I'm just waiting for like a big fish to come out and grab this so I can give it to you and be like, here you go, good luck. I do VR fishing, I'm pretty good at it, thank you. On a scale of one to trash, how good are you at VR fishing? I would say I'm an eight, I'm pretty professional. And you don't have to leave the comfort of your house. You can go to any lake you want. Oh wait a minute now, I bet you I get a trout out of there. I'm gonna float right down to that log. Welcome to trout fishing with Lynn. These bugs are bothering me. So what are you going to teach us today, Lynn? How to keep bugs off of you as you fish for fish. All right, let's go get one. Uh, when you step over this, step clear over it. I thought I was just going to trip myself over no, it. No, try not to stomp on it though, because the fish will hear that. Right, Lynn? Well, you know that, you're the expert. Well, I don't care if they hear it. Ugh. Fell. Of course. Ugh. That's not easy going over that. I show you the obstacle and you still almost die on it. I see. Come on. You might it might be fish time, so get ready. Come on, fishing. Right up here. This is where I basically where I've been coming almost all summer. Let's see it's great though. <sighs> Lynn, Lynn, stop, stop, stop. What? Come over here. Come over here. What? Now, I know you're a pro. Reel up until you feel it get heavy, and when you feel it get heavy, I want you to jerk that rod to the left real hard. When you feel it get heavy, you jerk it real hard when you feel it get heavy. Reel up. Come on, Lynn, take him. Lynn, take him. Yes, reel, reel, Lynn. Uh -uh. Look at that, Lynn, you got a big brookie, Lynn. Oh my goodness, pull it up, pull it up, hoist it up. Fish around. Lynn, that is a monster brook trout. Lynn, that's bigger than 90% of the brook trout I've ever caught in my life. Look at what you just caught, Lynn. He's cute. Hi. Lynn, this is an this is this is a this is an incredible fish. He's Do you have any thoughts for this? I like his pretty pink fins. 
I mean, this is a, Lynn, I've caught a handful of fish like this in my life. Well, it's because if you go on Fishergram, okay. Want to give him a kiss? Aww. All right, Mr. Brook Trout, thank you for biting, and you are going to be a hell of a meal. No, you're going, he said he's going back in the water. Tell Lynn, all your friends about Fishergram. Lynn, I got bad news for you. He's already dead. I see. Wow. Yeah, it's Lynn, Lynn, stop. Stop. Yeah. Look at that incredible That's brook nice. trout. Look at this. What a fish. That's like a 10 and a half, 11 inch brookie. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You did most of the work. Uh, you actually did the relevant work. Nice job. Fist bump. All right, let's go for number two. Now, Lynn, I just made a comment to you off camera. Yes, and it was I, very rude. I hurt my feelers. <laughs> and I told you this brook trout you just caught was nicer than probably 90% of the brook trout I've ever caught in my life. And you made a great comparison. It's like catching a shiny Pokemon. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. Fist bump, bro. Let's go catch some more fish. Ew, you have fish guts on your hand. Gross. Ugh. As you guys can see. As you guys can see, fishing with my girlfriend is quite a challenge. Gross. How can you just stand there with fish guys? Doesn't bother me. It bothers me. Can't you wipe them Lynn, off? Lynn, stop. Stop moving. Now listen to me. Listen to me again. I want you to reel up till you feel it get tight. And when you feel it get tight, you got to reef it to them hard. Set it, Lynn. Oh, yeah. Pull them up, Lynn. Pull them up, Lynn. Get them up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Lynn, what are we even doing here? Oh my goodness, oh my, you guys, are you guys seeing this? This, this girl never <laughs> trout fishes, and she's embarrassing me. Lynn, look at this, look at this brook trout. Oh, look, he's got pink polka dots. Lynn, this is an incredible fish. He's cute. And, bro, Yay. I am so proud of you right now. Dude, we're going to be here for like five more minutes. He's very handsome. Are you going to throw him back in? <laughs> sure. There is no question. Oh, Lynn, 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 come on. Now, feel for the bite, and when it gets tight, set the hook. So you're going to have to reel up a lot of line, and when it gets tight, set the hook. Lynn, set it! Oh my god, you got to be kidding me, dude. You're getting another trout. Oh, he's just a baby. Let him back. It's just a baby born five minutes ago, right? He's tiny. You go back, little guy. You're going to be on Fishagram for babies. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn, there's a stump right here. Yes, I saw you, Chris. There's another stick in the water ground right here. Okay, you guys got to understand something. I'm fishing with somebody that has zero trout fishing experience. I can't hear you. And she's caught two brook trout bigger than I anything see. I've caught in the last year. And, um... Yeah. So, that's what happens, guys. If you take your significant other trout fishing, she's probably going to catch the I bigger fish. Can't hear you. So. And then if you t then if then if you don't tell her everything, she's going to be mad. So. Professional have not caught one in a tree. You haven't caught a tree? No, you've been catching that's all you've been catching today, though. Well, I'll tell you what, if that's all I catch during the day, I'm fine with that. Just as long as you catch your last trout in this next spot. It's hot out. It is very hot out, put your. No, I'm not gonna put it on and die of. You're not going to die of um, heat stroke? Wait, is my drink in with the fish? Yes. Is there blood all over it? No, baby. Gross.
Come on, we're gonna get you your last fish right here. A nice hole right here, Lynn. I can tell nobody's been here since my dad and I went. Good butterfly. Butterfly, fly. Fly, butterfly. Come on, Lynn. Careful on this stump. Lynn, Lynn, got a good fish on here. Come on. Now, show us how it's done. Reel up good and set the hook hard this time. Take him, Lynn, reel. Oh my God, Lynn, hold on, hold on. It's a big trout. Play him, let him run. Now reel, yep. Oh my God, Lynn, it's a really big trout. Like it's a big one. Yep, keep that tip up. I mean, Lynn, that is an absolutely beautiful brown trout. Unfortunately, he's not 12 inches and we're going to have to let him go. Yay, you're free, little guy. Tell all your friends about Fishagram. And I like your little red spots on you. They're very handsome. Sorry that you have blood all over yourself now, fish. Gosh. Hmm, he's 12. Nice job, Lynn, you limited out on trout. God, am I proud of you. This reminds me a lot of like, Nisquano Creek. Except it's not as fucking, totally suicidal in here. Well, that's it guys, Lynn wins with a very, very, very clear, decisive fishing victory. She's a pro. God, dude, she dominated today. Very proud of her. Remember, if you guys are liking our videos here on Real Wisconsin, let us know. Gave Lynn a chance to actually catch a couple trout today. That was nice. If you guys want to see more of Lynn, the Pro Tour Trout Fishing Champion, let me know in the comments. Justin with Real Wisconsin. And as my buddy the Slayer would say, fish on! Good job on your fishing today. Thanks, checkers. How I really had did, a great time taking Lynn fishing. Get today? None, checkers. Is that a big old zero? Actually, like I caught. Egg? Actually, I caught one. Gosh. And it was small. How about my mommy? How'd you do today, Lynn? I caught like eight fishies. You caught three. Three fishies. You caught four. The small one we let go. Yeah. Remember? Who's the better fisherman? What do you think, checkers? Me or mommy? Gosh. That's how we got. It. You going with mommy? Yep. So, Lynn, today we went trout fishing. We went to the silent. We went. I'm sorry, yeah. you were just a companion. 
we went trout fishing today. Who caught fish? So, we went trout fishing today. I went trout fishing and you watched. Lynn, we went trout fishing today. Yes. And we fished the Silent Creek and we fished underneath those deep water wings with hook and worm. Now, tell me about the day. I caught fishies. They had polka dots. They were very handsome fishies. And they didn't get to go back in the water. I was hoping for them to go into the water again. You were hoping, <laughs> you were hoping, you were hoping they would go back? Yeah. Because fish are friends, not food. Hey baby, do you know where we're going for dinner? We're going to Chick fil A, chicken feet. Woo! Chicken feet, chicken feet, yeah, 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 yeah chicken, chicken feet. feet. Please leave your comments below to say who outfished the other one today. Or who do you think is a better or fisherman, think, right? Which we all know is going to be a smushy bun now. So, Lynn, what do we got going on here? We have a maple bacon. Chicky filet sandwich. Chicken. Grilled chicken sandwich. Yes. That smells good. From chicken feet. How's it taste? Tastes good. Got a little kick to it though. Well, yeah, pepper jack. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, it does. So, would you recommend this sandwich for uh, Chick fil A lovers? I would. Yes. Be very, very quiet out there. Okay, Elmer Fudd. We don't have to be quiet for them, obviously. Okay. They're sleeping. Oh gosh, oh gosh, guys. You guys look very comfortable. Do you need a blankie? Aww. Okay, Shh. we have a very serious fisherman here. We caught him in the wild. He's doing what he calls fishing, which is basically carrying a worm on a hook from what I've seen today. So, supposedly he will be catching a fish to add to the collection of fish that I got today in this gross working water so what are your thoughts on the fishing catching today fishing catching fish catching fish catching how have you done today during your ex um, excursion excursion well just first, let's get it out of the way. How many did you catch today? Oh, everybody's wondering. What is that big old number? Should people just close their eyes and they'll see that number? <laughs> yeah, you'll see how many trout I caught when you close your eyes. Okay, that's good to know. <coughs> you can you, do it. Is there a reason you're being like this to me tonight? Because it's fun. So anyways, enough about you. Why do we want to talk about you? <laughs> Why do we have a tree in the middle of the fish pond? Because uh, the city's too lazy to come clean this out like they should. It looks very yucky in here. Oh my god, folks, you got one. Wait, wait. Let me get real close, he's tiny. Make sure, let me see a picture of the camera. Is there like a close up on the camera? Here, guys. Can you see him? <laughs> and you did it! And how many inches or like centimeters would you call that one? I would say that was a three inch fish. I say you're lying. Do you think I'm exaggerating for uh, attention? 